Hi everyone, welcome back to this video for the Python tutorial that will connect with the microcontroller and visualize the data in a very nice way. However, this video today is focusing on recording the data that we are going to receive from the microcontroller. So we already set up this function and this is our normal files. So this now this user interface by clicking on the save data and start the streaming will start recording the data. And as soon as I click here and I change the visual visualization mode, you can see that this data is getting updated. So I will try to catch up with it. But this is really catching up and putting all the data that is received um, on a file as soon as I click. And if I click here like this, it will stop recording. And as soon as I click back again, it will start recording again the data. So if you would like to learn how to create a CSV file with today's time or now's time and put all the data streamed, this is the right video. Stay tuned. This video will be focusing on recording the streamed data from a microcontroller using Python. And within the whole tutorial, this is the video number 13, where we are going to use the user interface that we already created and the check button, use that one, to trigger or to stop the record itself. As usual, the code is available on GitHub. You can download the file and follow the video. Um, we are using as a programming language only Python, the text editor is VS Code, and I would expect someone who had already um, viewed the um, previous videos, but you can use this one to get inspired to save the data coming from a microcontroller. So from hardware perspective, we are going to use the STM32 F1 based board, which is the uh, AKA Blue Pill, and the FDTI to interface the UART communication with the computer. Finally, use um, a variable resistor or resistance or a potentiometer. Okay, so the tutorial will be very simple. So we are going to update the GUI master to start the to record. So we need to put the logic, just the trigger to start the record. After that, we are going to add the name file method. So how we are going to name our file, when it will be triggered. And finally, we will add the save data method. So we will need a method that will be saving the data. And then we will make a test and review. Okay, so let's start directly with the code. So we are going to start from the GUI master and first of all we are going to jump to the save data method that we created long long videos ago and add this small simple code. So if we do have self.save and this one we need to initialize it later on then self.save simply will be equal to false. Okay, else we will put self.save will be equal to true. Okay, and what we are going to make is to take this self.save here and equal to false, and we are going to add it from the beginning here. So that will be one of the initialization. And more than that, we need to control the risk that we do have. So we, if we want to disconnect, we would like to have always this one equal to false. So let's go here in the disconnect. So the program does not continue doing something wrong. So we go here and we add at the end where, so for this is the, if we are going to connect and if we are not going to connect, serial threading here, we put self dot con like this dot save will be equal to false okay so now we put the save signal or the record signal here initiated we can go jump to the next step the next step is to create the file name and we are going to add a method here that we call file name func and this method will be creating and generating the file name. So what we are going to do is make this def and we call it file name func. Okay. And it will be only self. So that's not a very complicated function. And what we are, we are going to take is now as the file name will be the date time. So date and we call it time dot, yeah, date time dot now. 
like this. And after that, so we need to add the daytime here. Import daytime function. So date time like this. Okay, so we do have this one. And after that, what we are going to create is self. And this is that will be the file name dot file name equal now dot and after that str time so we are going to take the whole time of that and after that the only thing is to put here and we are going to put year month date hour minute and second to be sure that we'll never have the issue of the file so here the slash y and then no slash it's a the um ah percentage and then m and after that the m we do have the d after the d we will have the hour after the hour we will get the minutes finally the seconds okay that will generate the file name that that we will be saving on it the data and it's his and uh, the the file name is and uh, the self dot file name in the data master class. After that, what we are going to activate this function is when we get synchronized in serial sync, when we got synchronized and we are ready to get streaming. So we go here after we update the GUI and everything. We go here and we add it. So GUI dot data and let me copy the file name function like this and the file name object will be ready for saving the data okay so we do have the file name ready the next step is to prepare the uh, recording function itself okay so we are going to start the saving function and let's start it here in the data master so we can go here and start creating this like this method actually and let's call it save data Okay, and from this one we will need to uh, include not only the self but also the GUI because we'll need to get the object uh, data and that we, we are going to create here. We will need the list where to put the data coming from the object. And first of all, we will take from this list so the data will be a list and the element of this list will be the element for the element in and you, you already, I guess, know it. So the self dot and its int message. So the integer that we got from the, um, uh, f from the, the stream. And we would like to get only the last one. So this is the int message is really the, which like has a wave of data that we are getting. And this is the last one we get. After that, we need to insert. So we put data dot insert and at the location zero we would like to insert self dot x data but we would like to add only the last position so we put here this one and we get the last index len minus one okay so now we could include the latest data so we are ready to start using the um, CSV or to how say record the data in CSV but before that we let's add an extra check so if GUI dot save again so we have to check if we are going to save or not so we do have the save just in case so we can use with open and self dot file name so this is the file name we created and we would like to put a here to update and after that what we are going so a for changing the data because if you put w it will delete everything and new line is equal to empty space as f okay this is the file that we are going to write so we put data write or writer like this data writer will be equal to csv and this is the we need to add this library so it will be writer for f and finally data writer again this one and we are put write row 
and that's all. Write row data. Okay, so let's also import CSV. Okay, and I think we are good. So now what we have to do, let's save here. And let's go to, not anymore for the sync, because here we are going to save the data each time. So we go here, and after we generate our data, I would advise you, so let me jump to the next line here. I would advise you to run this one using a threading, just in case. So again, if GUI.save, we keep putting this one just in case each time, and we put T1 will be um, equal threading, uh, threading dot thread. So we are going to write to open a new thread, and the target will be the GUI dot data. So we are calling the um, method save data that we just created. Save data. The argument that we will need is the GUI, only the GUI. So let's put the GUI like this. And as usual, we have to put the daemon tool just in case of like a sudden interruption. Equal true. Okay, and I will not forget this time um, the uh, to to run the T1. So T1 dot start, and that should be enough. Okay, so we created the file name, we created everything. The, the next step would be just to test and to see if there is any error and to to be good. So let's start make the testing and see if everything goes well. So if it records well, we should see a file here when we start recording and streaming that will show the data. So let's connect and see how things will go. Okay, let me try. Okay, this is not connecting. I have a message error, like let's disconnect. So what does it say? Daytime has no attribute now. Uh, daytime. Ah, so f this is not import daytime. I should put from usually date time import daytime. It should be good now. Oh, yeah, forgot to make this one correct. Okay, let me close this and rerun again. This is the GUI coming. Hopefully this time we are good. Connect. It syncs. Okay. Daytime has no attribute. Start time. Okay, str time. So let's stop here and check again. So, yeah, it's strf function time, actually. Yeah, I'm sorry for those mistakes. Yeah, it's, it's sometimes Memorizing all these libraries is quite tough. <laughs> now it works. Yeah, finally. So let's put the save button. We didn't start streaming, so nothing is going on. But if we start streaming here, yeah, we see the file. The file is, is here, going, working well. But there is something we forgot, is that we should put here plus .csv to finalize the whole thing. So let's close this one stop so we can see that the file is working and let's add here just a plus and just putting this csv save and let's rerun again to see how things will work okay and put here we connect and we save data and we start and we have the csv file so i added so you see you already have a tons of data that starts record and i have a special uh kind of um i forgot the name what they call it but something download for the vs code and this allow you to visualize the data like this like in excel which is really great and you can see the data is getting updated and we have the whole data here so there's a lot of data coming in the stream so but we do have 
everything here, which is really great. Okay, good. So we could now save the data. We have a very good and complete user interface that can visualize. So we can visualize too, like this. So let me bring it here. So I'm, I can save and visualize at the same time, see whatever I want. And I have, a, I can really have a much better control and understand the dynamics of my system. Thank you so much for this and see you in the next video.